Today, just a short video on project costs. I get a number of requests uh, over the years for access to tools, and uh, there's been plenty of discussion on some of these tools, anywhere from transaction managers to validation tools for the 834 and 837, uh, mainly because of the cost. Some of these can cost literally hundreds of thousands of dollars, and you might want to just write your own or find someone else who has one. But I just wanted to show off a little tool here just to give you some ideas in case you want to write your own or you know, use a tool like this. This is a validation tool where you simply enter in the name of your A37 IP or D and then you click on validate right here and it simply validates um, your transaction. This is what the output looks like. It gives you the file name. It shows you, you know, your envelope. Uh, that you had inside your file and then it will give you like the line number and, and on this one you know, we put in the severity level you know, like it was severe error or something like that and then when you look at like for example this says negative values are not allowed in the claim total and it's on line 25 if we scroll down to line 25 you'll see that there's actually a negative value in CLMO2 um, these can be really helpful for uh, like gathering up, you know, some some of the big problems with your data as you create your data. So it's not just about validating your 837. This is this is probably a little bit deeper than high level. Uh, it doesn't include everything, but the point is that you could start with a tool like this and start carving out your data, and it would help keep you in between the borders, you know, so you can uh, move on with your project and start doing your testing. And if you build a tool uh, of your own, you could also, the advantage is that you can add whatever type of custom code that you want. Um, so um, if you wanted to, like what we've done here is that we've actually taken, like this is uh, the file here. <clears throat> if you can see, it's been unwrapped. And if I simply wrap the file, and then when I edit it, you can see that it's a little bit difficult to see, but it's been wrapped. There's no carriage returns or line feeds. So you can add little tools to our little functions to your uh, tool. And so this is really just a basic video on um, creating your own tool to help reduce, you know, your project costs. Uh, again, we have these for like, uh, we have a number of these for 834s like Greenfish. And this actually will validate, like I said, uh, the institutional, professional, and dental healthcare claim or 837. So just give you some ideas on some of the things that um, you could do. Uh, pick a language that you like, you know, and then just uh, develop a tool to help you make yourself more productive. I mean, this is basically all about process improvement. You know, instead of spending, you know, three months or two months or however much time creating all the data that you've got, you know, consider building your own tool uh, because some of them, like I said, are abusively, uh, you know, hard to come by because they're so expensive. So anyway, I just thought I'd throw that out there and give you guys some ideas. Uh, I hope this helped. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below or stop by at remorebay.com and say hello. Thanks again for watching my video.